I'm going to call the policy committee of the school board to order. And the first item is the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So I need a motion to approve the minutes of the June 17th, 2021 meeting. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Passes. Policies for first reading. We have JFCC-R, student conduct on school buses, bus regulations. We're deleting this one because it's a duplicate policy. And then we have EEA EC-R, student conduct on school buses, bus regulations. There's a minor change. So the change is um, the, on the first page. I think it's only on the first page. Just, uh, there's a couple on the second. Um, we just had to update this policy based on the new discipline laws and policies. Um, so they, the students will, uh, and we also added that the students may board and exit the bus only at their assigned stop. Because we got called on that last year, there was someone that was chasing the bus around, and um, because we didn't actually have a written rule that said you can only get on the bus at your assigned bus stop. So um, we added that, and then we changed uh, the referral to the school district office. Uh, on the back instead of the assistant superintendent because I'll actually be the hearing body if someone appeals. Um, and then we took assistant superintendent off the next one and then we took school board out um, because they won't actually come to you, they'll come to me for the appeal. So those are just the big changes that are reflected, reflective of the new laws. Okay. So. Anyone have questions? Uh, so, can you describe the process for me for discipline? The Just, bus school bus? Yeah. Um, sure, the bus driver will do a write-up and then she'll refer it to the school administrator. So usually oh, the okay. assistant principal. Um, but if it's something really egregious, that so if someone gets suspended from the bus for 10 days, um, then they could appeal to me okay. to get back on right. sooner. Yeah. yeah. I thought I misheard that. Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> Any other questions? No? Move on. We have policy JICD-R, due process procedures, minor changes. So this was just, this is a, you just did this policy. It's a very, very quick change. Um, in section B, it's, we didn't put superintendent or his or her written designee. So it was, we were limited to doing the hearing process through um, the superintendent and I actually am the one that hears those, and that's you did the permission for that earlier. So we just needed to update the policy. Okay. Any other questions? Bob? Can I go back to the previous one? I was no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so on this, the, the last page, it's, it, it says referral. You took out the school board, but then after that, you said referral to the school board. She'll come through the discipline committee. Uh, that should have come out. Okay. Yeah. Right. Which page was that on? Three. Page three. Would it be to the full board instead of discipline committee? Mm -hmm. it, it shouldn't be in there at all. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm not really sure why it just duplicated. So um, I'll amend that if you want, and you can make a different motion to put forward the amended copy okay. for, sec yep. for first reading. To delete the whole thing. Yeah, I'm just going to delete that whole thing, yeah, because anything um, referring to the discipline committee doesn't happen anymore, so I apologize for that. What about <coughs> referral to the school board? Is that an option at this point? No, they'll get referred, they'll get referred to me um, because the maximum that that we can do now for any kind of discipline is a 20 day and then you would be the appeal body. So if so, say we suspended someone for school for doing something egregious on the, on the school bus because the school bus is an extension of the school. So it would come through our office and then they would, if they wanted to appeal, they would go to you. If the long term, the up to 20 days went through the school board, then the appeal body would be the state board of education. Um, so you don't want, you don't want to bypass your local control over that. Um, 
any decision that's made at the school board level can obviously then be appealed to the um, state board, but we want to make sure that people follow the process right up through. Is it an automatic appeal to the school board? That's what I'm thinking, because for it's, severe rules, the first one is the school administration, then you, then what? So we that, would only be able to do the maximum, um, because the maximum discipline now is defined by law. So if it's a severe violation, it would come to the superintendent's office. We could give a, um, the only the only referral that would come to the school board is an expulsion. Okay. Um, so if this was an offense that required an expulsion, then it would fall under the discipline policy, and then it would come to you for expulsion. Okay. So we don't have to go over the appeal process in this policy. No, it would just follow the discipline. It would fall into the discipline. So should we have a motion to remove that paragraph and then? The, um, the policy forward as amended. As amended. That would work. Yeah. I would move that we strike the paragraph that's titled "Referral to School Board" on page three. Second Second. <laughs> Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Now can we move on to what's funny is that it's not that's not coming through on the final copy, it's only coming through on the, on the mark track changes. Yeah. So we'll make the changes on the track changes as it, like you had um, proposed and I'll just make sure that this final I know because I was looking the on the final copy and yeah. I was saying I don't know where they're seeing this. Yeah, yeah. The final copy. I don't see it. Yeah. The final copy is, is accurate. So um, but we'll make sure it's corrected per the amendment and get it to the right copy to you in a board packet. Then we have policy JICD-R, due process procedures, minor changes, which kind of already discussed. Yeah. So do we, we don't have to move these anywhere. Do, do we move yeah. them to yep. full board? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll make a motion to move to the full board for first reading. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? And no policies for second reading. Hmm. Public comment. We don't have anyone here, so I will open and close public comment. Um, other, is there any other? BBVD, board member removal from office discussion. Uh, so you had just asked for this policy to remain on the agenda while you worked through uh, the other policies with the city. So we're just leaving it on until their time, the time comes that you want to discuss it again. It's kind of a placeholder. Okay, thank you. That's it, folks. Motion to move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.